Hi Steve, I just got your email about how to uh, use the array command to create the stairs and I don't think I can write that um, and make it un understandable. So I'm going to use um, uh, this opportunity to make a, a quick video of how we created the stairs. Um, hopefully it'll be easy to follow. Uh, I don't have uh, the an example, the, the completed example before me to so I can split the screen. but we started with an offset. We offset this line down the screen. There was a dimension of six feet six down from this line to what is effectively the top and the bottom stair in that um, in those set of stairs. So what I'm going to do is I'll start with offset. I'll go offset. My offset distance is six feet six. Enter, and I'll select not the top line but the bottom line. Left click the bottom line. Go straight down and left click. And then my next uh, step is to create some circles, or or I can offset this line here, but let's I'll, I'll create the circles. So one circle has a three foot radius, and one circle has a six foot six radius. So I'll just start circle. I'm going to try and find the midpoint of this line here, and there it is. When I hover over it, there's the midpoint. I'll left click the midpoint, and I can see I'm on the wrong layer. I'm on the A anno dims layer. That's fine. I'll just go ahead and complete this. I'll type three feet and hit enter. There's a three foot radius circle. Before I move forward, I'll change layers to my A wall layer. And then I'll just select this circle on the A anno dims layer. And I'll just move it to the A wall layer. Just left click the, the layer name. There we go. So now circle, same center point. It's going to be the midpoint of that line. Left click, and this circle has a radius of six feet, six enter. Okay. So I'll use my, um, I'm going to turn off that dimension layer. Okay, so just kind of neaten things up here. So I can use my trim command. I'll go trim, hit enter to select all objects as cutting edge edges, and I'll just cut off this, the bottoms of these two circles. Okay? And then once I do that, I'm going to offset this horizontal line down the screen two feet eight and a half, as the markup says to do. Offset. 2 feet 8.5 enter left click the horizontal line I'll go right down and left click so there's two lines so now I need a, a vertical line off the end of my arc here on the right straight down so I'll go line left click endpoint and I'll just take that line straight down left click okay so now I just need to do some some trim to clean up go trim enter take out these guys here it neatens that up and I'll take out that right there. So now I'll sort of neaten things up to, to where I have sort of the framework of the stairs. Okay, so now I'm going to use this line here on the right side of the midpoint of my circles or the center of my circles. I'm going to, I'm going to array this with a polar array. So I'll left click that line. On the modify panel, there's rectangular array, but I don't want rectangular array, array. I want polar array. So I'll I'll open up this fly out and find polar array. There it is, polar array. And the command prompt will, will start up in a second. It says specify center point of array. That's going to be the center of these circles. I'll left click the center of the circle and I get an instant result. What I get is six items filling 360 degrees. But I want 16 items. So I'll swipe over the six and type 16. And that makes a change, but I don't want one, three, 360 degrees, I want 180 degrees. So I'll swipe over the 360, type 180, and hit enter, and that will update in a second. There it goes. And I'll hit escape. So that's how we'd create the, the stairs with the array command if I undo that. Left click object, open up where your array tool is, click pa a polar array. Left click the center of what you want to be the center of that array, and you'll get a result. So the result we're getting is not exactly right. I've, I want to change from six objects to 16 objects. My fill angle is not 360, but it's 180. And then there, there we go. So one thing to keep in mind when you use those array tools, it creates almost like a block, like our window and our door. That, um, set of lines are sort of welded together as an arrayed object. Now if I left click on any one of those lines, it brings back my array tools. 
if I want those objects to stop being a unit like like just an array I want them to go back to being lines I'll go from the array tab to the home tab and then hit explode so it just exploded that now I've got 16 lines instead of one array the rest of this exercise was offset we offset this line or this arc up the screen 3.5 inches and we had to do some trim work but I think the question you had was on the array tool uh, we had a, a, a offset our vertical line and our horizontal line and the inner arc all those objects were offset one inch twice moving away from the center so if I went offset one enter my horizontal line gets offset twice down the screen my vertical line gets offset twice right on the screen and the arc gets offset twice sort of just away from its center point and that kind of gives you the I, the illusion of having a railing it's just broken right here we'll, we'll put a three inch square here in fact in the exercise we put a three inch square at this point, that point, that point, and that point. So hopefully that, that helps make things easier. We had one line. I selected that one line, opened up the array tool, and used the polar array to create that illusion of having a series of stairs. All right. So good luck to you. Um, hope to hear from you again soon, and uh, happy AutoCAD.